So how do you build an automated business? Right now playing ping pong in the office, right now with my boy Hervé. We say hello to the camera. Hello camera. But one of the big questions that I get a lot from entrepreneurs is how do they build an automated business that can run on autopilot without them having to actively be working in their business, but allow them to be working on their business, whether they're actually working or not. So what I want to do is actually want to cover this as I'm playing ping pong. <laughs> I actually wanted to play ping pong to illustrate to you that my business is actually working for me right now. I'm not actually actively working on business. As you can see, I'm having some time off and um, I'm still in the office, but things are still happening within my business. And I want to relate to you a couple of concepts as to how you can create the same type of thing. So one of the first things that you want to do if you want to build an automated business is you want to make sure Jesse Christie, <laughs> you want to make sure that you have systems in place. Now, what I mean by a system is something that you can put somebody on to control that they can basically pretty much run for you. So as an example, right, if you look at McDonald's, it doesn't actually matter what kind of um, person, or it doesn't matter what, what kind of area that the, the, the McDonald's is in, the system runs, right? The, the system is the exact same thing. So you notice that the logos, is gonna be the exact same. You're gonna notice that the employees, they're gonna wear the same type of thing. You're gonna notice that the processes, the way the type of food that they serve is gonna be the exact same. So you wanna have a system within your business that's gonna be predictable and consistently produces money. Now, if you're somebody that is doing a, a franchise, a franchise is a typical system. A franchise is gonna work for you based on a set of rules and based on a set of processes. So you basically want to make sure that you evaluate what do you do on a daily basis in your business and you want to basically evaluate the things that you can kind of write down that produce the money. And you want to have people in place that can do that for you, okay? Because that way you're going to be able to create a system. Now, another thing... <laughs> you're actually terrible at ping pong. <laughs> really? But another thing that you want to... Hey, Jesse Christie, I spoke way too soon. But another thing that you want to make sure that you do, aside from um, uh, having just a, a system in your business, is if you are somebody who is on online business, you might want to have a marketing funnel. So a marketing funnel can literally be a set of web pages that you need a customer through or you need a prospect through before they actually go and convert or become a customer. So it could be an opt-in page followed by maybe a welcome page. There may be an offer they might have, they might have some email broadcasts, but you want to set things up in a way, there may be a webinar that might be automated, but you want to set things up in a way where if somebody clicks on the ad at one time, it doesn't matter if they go through your funnel one day or one week afterwards, they get a set of processes that can help them become a customer and then maybe become a repeat customer, okay? So you can do that through simple automation tools like automated webinars, you can have um, email autoresponders going out, you can have... Um, different sales pages and blogs that get published automatically on different days. There's so many things that you can do, but you basically want to have automation in your business. That means that you don't have to always be there creating the content, okay? If you can do that, and if you can make it seem like it's real to every single prospect that comes through your funnel, it's gonna really, really help you to have an automated business as opposed to a business where you just work it in the business all the time rather than being able to work on the business, okay? Another thing as well that you wanna make sure you guys do is you wanna make sure that you guys have people, okay? If you guys stick to being a solopreneur and you stick to just being somebody that you're the only person, you're the only person running in your business, I'm telling you, you're gonna get burned out. I've been that person, I tried to be the jack of all trades and I was working too much in my business. I wasn't a business owner, I was just an employee of my business that just apparently happened to found the business. So yes, I call myself the CEO, but I was also the janitor at the same time. I just don't wanna be that kind of person. So you wanna make sure that you start delegating and you start finding people that can work, on, um, work in your business while you can work on your business. And people, I mean, they can really make or break your business. And I learned from a show called um, The Profit on CNBC. They wanna focus on processes, you wanna focus on people and the product. So once you have a good product, you wanna make sure that you have a nice process that's gonna come from systematizing your business out, writing your things, your, your, your processes out that actually produce the money, right? Step by step where you know that if one, two, three things happen, you're gonna be able to make some money. And um, if you guys have that in a simplistic way, you don't wanna overcomplicate your processes too much, okay? Just try to make it so simple that a baby can literally follow your processes. And if you can do that, 
And the last thing you have to do is focus on the people, right, to run those processes for you. And if you can have really, really solid people, A-star players, people that have experience, that are motivated, that are really, really hungry, and you can incentivize them to really grow your business, then that's how you start to build an automated business, okay? So guys, hopefully you're taking some things away from that. Main thing again, right, is... Just really, really focus on working on your business rather than in your business. There's only a few things that you really need to do to be able to create an automated business for yourself that works for you 24-7. I like to use paid traffic online. And um, I actually have some webinars as well. Now, I'm going to have some links as well below to some web classes that you can, um, you can, you can register for. It's a completely free web class. I'm going to talk about automation more in depth, about how I'm doing it with something called CPA products and how I'm basically sending traffic to CPA products, which are essentially just affiliate products. And we able to produce seven figures per year doing so. Okay. So guys, feel free to click on the, there should be a link probably below this video um, and register for the web, uh, webinar. And on the webinar, I'm going to talk about loads more stuff, way more in depth, how you can make money with CPA and whatnot, and um, how I'm producing certain figures per year doing so. And most of the day, I'm playing ping pong with her, Vey, and beating them at the same time. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> make sure you register. As you can see, it's terrible. But okay, make sure you register for the upcoming web class. It's going to be somewhere below this video. Me and her, we're going to get back to our ping pong game. I'm going to whip him a few times. And guys, really take action on this, okay? Focus on really, really good people. Focus on really, really having a good process and systems. And if you can do that, and you can really think about how to, 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 to work on your business, it's going to have a dramatic impact on your results, okay? So it's your boy, Mr. Opulent. I'm going to see you guys soon.